Hello, AOG family. Unless you've been on a polar expedition for the last few months, you've no doubt heard about the Biden administration proposals to pass an infrastructure bill of more than a trillion dollars, as well as a Build Back America bill that ranges between three and a half and five and a half trillion and is fully paid for. Yes, your taxes may go up, perhaps substantially, but fear not. Just as some of these provisions may substantially increase taxes on ordinary income and capital gains taxes, and as well as a wealth tax on those making more than five million a year, or Peter Thiel who turned a small thousand dollar investment in his IRA into a $5 billion Roth IRA that's growing tax deferred and coming out tax free, politicians on both sides of the aisle can't help but use the tax code to influence capital formation and public policy. Your advisors at AOG have been part of discussions with some of the best and brightest tax attorneys in the country as well as investment firms that manage capital formation that capitalize on these special tax provisions. On Thursday, October 14th, 2021, from 6 to 8.30 p.m., we've assembled a team of tax attorneys, certified public accountants, and investment company representatives who are experts in the investment strategies that have these significant tax mitigation properties. Whether you make 400,000 a year or 10 million of ordinary income, whether you have capital gains of 100,000 or 100 million, we have a number of solutions that could allow you to keep a lot more of your hard-earned assets. My partner, Jim Wardlip, has worked with tax attorneys and certified public accountants for two decades, specifically analyzing the tax codes and the applications of these strategies. He will show a sample analyses prepared in conjunction with these tax experts so you can have a sense of what these strategies might help you with on your personal tax return. Whether it's the 1031 exchange or 721 designed for a highly appreciated real estate, opportunity zones that significantly reduce capital gains taxes while encouraging real estate development and job creation in underserved communities, oil and gas drilling to keep the United States energy independent and continue to shrink our carbon footprint by replacing coal generated electricity with natural gas uh, generated electricity, or um, uh, offsetting your current income with land development conservation easements that preserve important green space in our country. These strategies have a significant social purpose while generating tax uh, uh, savings for our, our clients. For our business owners or our medical practice owners, we also offer a strategy that supplements a regular 401k and it can allow much more significant contributions for the principals while giving current year tax deductions for the business. As an added bonus, we will have my friend and colleague, Anya Koverman, who is general counsel at the Institute for Portfolio Alternatives and a regulatory expert. Anya and members of my policy, legislative affairs and regulatory committee held conference calls yesterday with the senior tax attorneys for both the House Ways and Means and the Senate Finance Committee. She will share policy issues, as well as give some insight into what the final form of the bills might be. Uh, we'll meet in a classroom style with refreshments. Feel free to bring friends, colleagues, or family that you think uh, might benefit from hearing about these strategies, because we will be discussing options that are only available to accredited investors. We will need to have any visitors sign a certification form that they meet the standards of an accredited investor established by the Securities and Exchange Commission, meaning that they have to have household income of 300,000 or more per year or a net worth of a million dollars excluding their primary residence. Discover how to implement strategies to provide social benefit and allow you to keep more of your hard-earned assets. I hope we see you on the evening of October 14th.